Good morning, ladies. Welcome to America Cooks with Kitchen Craft, the original waterless and greaseless cookware. We're going to do something really special today. It's kind of winter time, and we're going to be doing chicken noodle soup the old-fashioned way. Now, I'm going to use my kitchen shears. If you don't have kitchen shears, the Kitchen Craft Company has these available. They're wonderful for skinning a chicken. You want to take all the skin you can off, because the skin, unfortunately, is where most of your fat comes from. So do your best to get rid of all your chicken fat. Now, guys, what we got here is we got our chicken. We're going to get all the skin we can off. Take our chicken, then we're going to put them into our four-quart gourmet cooker. Now, some people call this a slow cooker. A slow cooker is fine. I like to call it a gourmet cooker for one simple reason. This way, you've got something that you can not only use on the stove, but you can also put it onto the base. And you're going to start your base out on a four. Get it up nice and high. Turn it up to where she's going to get good and hot. I'll bring that over here in just a second. Now, we're going to add our chicken broth. And we're going to put about three cans because, like I said, we're making chicken noodle soup. We might need to add a little bit of water at the end of the day, but very little because you'll find out with the waterless cookware, even these types of things, they kind of retain the water because you're not cooking all the water out. Does that make sense? Good. Then we're going to put some lemon. This is real old-fashioned chicken noodle soup. Not out of the can anymore. Then we come over we put our soy sauce. And add a bay leaf. Always put a bay leaf. Now, I'm going to add some vegetables to it. We're going to use our kitchen cutter. And I'm using the number three cone for the carrot. Now, there's some numbers on the bottom of the cone. Take your cone, run your carrot through. And we're going to cut some nice chunks of carrots up into the chicken noodle soup that we're making up for you today. All right. Mm -hmm. I hope you're hungry. This is going to be good. Now, guys, the good thing about this, we're going to let this cook all day so you'll have supper waiting for you instead of you waiting for supper, okay? Then I'm going to use the number two cone. I'm going to put some celery in. And we'll put some onions. Onions, I like to cook everything with a little bit of onion. Take your onion, leave the peeling on the onion, run the onion through the machine with the number two cone. And mm, 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 mm. here we go. No tears. That's the good news about it, all right? Okie dokie, and then your celery. You want to put lots and lots of celery. Here's what you do with the celery. Put the stringy side of the celery to the back. Make sure I got everything going right here. There we go. And what it does, it takes the strings out, but it cuts it up really nice. Isn't that neat? A whole lot easier than trying to get the strings out. You know, especially if grandpa's coming over for chicken noodle soup and it gets stuck underneath his dentures. You can dry that out and use it as um, dental floss, okay? Now we got all this put together. I'm going to stir it up. We're going to put this over on the slow cooker base, we're going to let her sit there and cook now on low heat all day long. When we come home tonight, you'll have supper waiting for you. At that time, we'll add our chicken noodles. Excuse me, we'll add our noodles to it. We'll make up our chicken noodle soup. It only takes about 15 more minutes. And we'll be back tonight to have supper and have supper waiting for us instead of us waiting for supper. All right, my friends. Now we got really serious homemade chicken noodle soup. Or if you want to, just put this on the platter because it's going to fall apart. Now that's how you make chicken noodle soup literally falling off the bone. Now, gals, we'll take this out. We'll debone her just a little bit. Then we're going to put our noodles in. Look how tender that is. Is that tender enough for you? Just take a fork and just pull her right off and put her right into your soup. Cut her up a little bit, and it's going to make the best chicken noodle soup you've ever had in your life. Now, we've got to add our noodles. I'll put all this chicken in here and take your noodles, crunch them up just a little bit, all right? And put your noodles in. We're going to let this cook now for just 15 more minutes. And during that time, I'm going to go ahead and put all my chicken in here. We're going to have chicken noodle soup. It'll be out of this world delicious. Now, ladies, what I did is we went ahead and decided we're going to make this a really nice winter lunch. So we got a great little salad put together, put some whole grain bread, and now we've got chicken noodle soup. Now, I want to tell you something. Chicken noodle soup, without question, there's something that was put there that's supposed to keep you, get you healthy, healthy, keep you healthy. And when you've got this much beautiful chicken, all the goodies in here, put this together and voila, you got a lunch that'll knock your socks off. Is that delicious?